Hello everybody and welcome back to the mega modded devil something. I was going to say devil, I meant dead god plus. Anyways, we're back and we are jumping in for another run. We're going to start using the randomizer again. I will say the run destination also, mass demo here, which means we should get some unlocks. Um, yeah, the run destination is going to be a bit weird at times because sometimes it might be places we've already been or like stuff we've already done. That's just going to be how it is. But anyways, yeah. We got Mastema, which is a pretty interesting one to get here because, as I said, we shouldn't have any unlocks for Mastema right now and therefore we'll actually be getting some new unlocks by using him. Also, I just really like Mastema as a character. He is a hell of a lot of fun. And also, as a bonus, 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 oh god, bonus, 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 I really like the thumbnail for this guy. Um, Skull did a absolutely fantastic job on the thumbnail. Skull is my thumbnail artist. For those of you that don't know, he creates the characters that you see brandished, brandished, brandished all over my channel. He is genuinely one of the most talented artists I know. He's incredible. And yeah, he does some really good stuff. So, big ups to this boy. So, for today's question of the day, I actually, I actually haven't really thought of one. So, I'm going to jump in and just go with something that's off the, off the top of my head here. What's your favourite, like quirky sort of game. What's your, like, um, it doesn't have to be one that, like, is really underground or unknown, but what's your favourite sort of game that, like, it, it can even be a genre or a type of game rather than a specific one itself, of, like, game that's just, like, not something normal. Do you know what? I will take that. That's not terrible. I'll take it. Um, because I've recently been playing a game called Peglin, which is, like, a Peggle roguelike. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything on the channel with it. I'm undecided yet. Um, I might. But at the, at the minute, I'm just kind of playing it in my own time. And it just kind of got me thinking about the, the days of Peggle. It got just got me thinking about the days of playing Peggle and just how fun Peggle is. I don't know how many of you have played Peggle, but Peglin is essentially, uh, like, a pachinko machine sort of style thing made into a roguelike. And it's it's just fantastic. It's the so fun, and I don't I don't know what it is about it. It's kind of like when when like four year old women play Candy Crush. I feel like it's just it activates something very primal in the gaming sense. Um, the the just endorphins that you get, the dopamine that you get from hitting all those pegs and everything lighting up and oh, it's just it's fantastic. And honestly, this um this this new game that I've been playing also that is awesome. This new game that I've been playing recently, Peglin, has just kind of brought back that feeling. I remember playing through the original Peggle games when they, I wouldn't say first came out. I don't actually know if I played them anywhere near their release, but I remember playing them like really early days and just absolutely loving them. And as well, I think I've just got a sort of extra fond memory of them because I played them with my girlfriend um, and we just had a really good time with it. We both really, really enjoyed them. And so I just look upon them fondly. And then I remember watching people like Grapefruit play through Peggle and stuff. And it's just wholesome fun. Like, it's, I was kind of thinking the other day about how, like, isn't it kind of weird how pretty much every single game, and I mean pretty much every single game that we play, or at least that I play, involves killing things. Like, all of them. <laughs> every single one. Like, even ones that aren't violent. Even even games that aren't violent, you're still killing things. Even in, like, Revita is obviously violent, but you're still killing monsters and stuff. And it's just... Like, all I can think is, like, where where did that start? Where did the trend of, of like, is it is it, like, is it kind of, does it come out of the fact that it's something that we can't do in real life? And I'm not saying that you want to, but it's, like, because it's something that you can't do in real life, it kind of has more of a appeal, I guess. I'm going to take the double heart one. Do you know what? Very happy with the nail. Um... Honestly, I'll take Odd Mushroom as well. Um, yeah, like, I wonder, is it, is it kind of something to do with that? Or is it just that early games were based on killing things and so that just kind of spiraled? Killing has a chance to give you a ghost. Nice, I'll take that. Yeah, um, did, did, did it just kind of spiral from that? It's, it's hard to really know, but it's kind of an interesting sort of thing to think about. Like, I'm trying to think how many games that I that I really truly love that don't involve killing in any sense of the word. Oh, dude, this is pretty. This is pretty strong. That's that's a lot of babies very quickly. 
I, I wonder how. I wonder if I just got really lucky there. But it did say it was a. It did say it was a good trinket. So, yeah. Do you know what? This is. This seems like it's gonna be pretty good. I will grab this and get a speed up for it. Hell's yeah. Yeah. Also, lots of big rooms here means lots of nail charges. I'm. I'm definitely happy with that. Kind of want to go to my care room, but HP is valuable here. Of course, math stemmer. For those of you that don't know, by the way, like I'm. I'm. I'm trying. Trying to treat this. Oh, I do apologize about that. I've tried to treat this series a little bit as kind of like a refresh to the series. So, for anyone that's new and doesn't know what Mastema does, Mastema is a modded character, obviously. But he is a, a really, really interesting modded character that, as you can clearly see, is based entirely around trading HP. You start with a prayer card um, as your pocket active. You may think, holy hell, that's ridiculously powerful. And it would be on any normal character. But this guy, everything costs him HP. Even items from the boss cost HP. It's like, it's it's a really really interesting way of uh, doing a character. I really really like it. I think the uh, the developer Hybrid, who also makes Andromeda by the way, uh, did a fantastic job of just making a character that is really fun and got a lot of risk reward to it. And because I've kind of been playing Revita a lot recently uh, on the channel and just in my spare time, I'm even more inclined to just like enjoy the aspects of this character, because they're sort of one and the same, really. Uh, a lot of risk-reward, and a lot of trading your HP for essentially everything you do. And I, I don't know if that design choice was intentional or not, but it really, it, it resonates very, very much with the, uh, the Revita enjoyer in me, and I'm sure a lot of you can, uh, understand and see why. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a brilliant character. And, as you can clearly see here, we can be your angle or your devil, but I'm going to go this way because for one, devil deals can be better, but for two, let's just destroy these fires first. For two, um, maybe this will give us something? No. Uh, we can mess around with Sanguine Bond here, which I don't want to play too much. I'm going to go for three hits. Good, good. Although, I'd say the one sort of downside or the one thing about this character that is maybe not so great, also I'm going to skip the shop this time around, is maybe not so great, or at least in some aspects, is this character doesn't really have very much use for money outside of beggars and machines. Like, shops all cost HP, so yeah, you don't really end up using, um, you don't really end up using all that much money over the course of the run. So, we do have a good amount of it now, but we don't really have anywhere to put it. Uh, okay, we'll check in here. Judas's Fez is probably a good one to take here. Do not steal my charge, you little shit. Okay, so... Judas's Fez sets Isaac's HP to 1. All of the heart containers are replaced with spirit hearts. Set Isaac's damage multiplier to the base and activates Book of Belial every few rooms. Good, good. I have had an issue with that, that item before, where it has caused me to die. Very annoying to get another book. But do you know what? I'm not too mad about it. Um... Do you know what? This is actually a really good room to use this in. Oh, there you go. A full battery. A full battery. Beautiful. And we get ourselves a Judgment. So, Judgment's actually a really good thing to pop because, yeah, exactly, we might get this guy. And as I said, we really have no other place to spend our hard-earned money. So, spending it on a beggar like this, good way to get ourselves some extra HP. Especially when I just traded quite a lot of it away. Yeah, I think we've got ourselves a very, very good run here. I've also been sort of considering and messing around with the idea of maybe adding in a few mods to make the game a little harder for this series. I haven't done so yet, um, and I'm kind of maybe playing around the idea of the Eternal Champions mod. I'm not a huge fan of the mod, just because there's some champions in there that can be a little bullshit, as, uh, like, same goes for the bosses, but I, I, I'm open to the idea of trying it. And uh, there is another mod called Everything is Terrible 2, which essentially adds boss armor to a lot of the bosses in the game. And some of you may be thinking that's idiotic, like why the hell would you want boss armor? But essentially it stops OP runs and like just strong runs in general from just absolutely decimating, which I feel is, um, I'm okay for that, thank you. I feel is probably like, a good idea, and it also is going to just generally, on weaker runs, make the bosses a little harder as well. And yes, yeah, so I'm kind of... What the hell happened then? I'm a little confused, I'll be honest. So... 
What? 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 <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, why do we get two items? But more so to the point, why did both of those chests automatically open? I won both those items. It's a little annoying that I don't currently have a way to get them because they are both absolute bangers. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused. <laughs> I don't really know what, what caused that. Yeah, stay away from you. Might get hit by this mushroom standing here, but I just got to stick with it. Check out the shop. I kind of want to take the card just because I really would like flight. And getting a hanged man is feels like probably the only way I'm going to do it. Ooh, 50% chance of triggering when uh, when hit. Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's when hit. That's that's pretty good, but I think on when it's when hit, I don't really mind that much. But yeah, getting the bookable Isle of like, every three rooms for free here is proving to be very nice. I'm kind of seeing... Do you know what? I'm going to pair through this. It wasn't really worth it. I probably should have held off a little bit there, but do you know what? Let's go to the mines here. I've got, I've got enough bombs and I'm feeling strong enough to do so. I haven't really been looking for secret rooms this run. I might do that just to try and get myself uh, some flight. I think, I'm almost certain it's just below here. I think it's right here. It's not. It's probably right here. There you go. Bloody hell. <laughs> He's just nodding no at me. Nodding no? Shaking no. Evil little bastard. Oh, another thing as well um, that this guy gets, uh, or at least did get, he used to get um, a member's access card. Maybe that got changed. There has been updates to the character and little tweaks and stuff here and there, so I don't know all the in and out workings. Hmm. Second secret room. Could potentially be here. I've, I'm kind of going willy-nilly with my bombs right now just because I have a lot of them. I have Soul Heart there in the closet room. Thank you. Okay, let's go down to the mines. Unfortunately, going to have to skip out on two pretty good items. That's a little bit of a shame, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter to us all too much. I think we'll be okay. Um, one moment. One moment. Okay, let's continue onwards. Ooh, do, do you know what? This says lighter. It, sh it doesn't show lighter. I'm unsure what it's going to give us, but what else do we spend our money on? Damn it, because if it's, if it's uh, my reflection, I'm actually pretty down to get my reflection. I think my reflection's a really good item. Like, it can be a little bad if you've not got really the range to support it. But, I feel like it's kind of a... Oh, no. How did I not get hit there? I feel like it's kind of a synergy magnet item, where there's just some really wacky and cool synergies you can get with it. And I, I'm like, I'm, I'm really down for that. So if we get enough money to play that a few times also... Well, Golden Penny in that room is uh, pretty good, but also that. I wish those uh, little little rock dudes were used elsewhere. I think they're pretty cool. Okay, so we'll just quickly go in here. Grab that. Okay, good. Like I said, I don't really need the money for much, but I can at least play that machine a little more. I'm hoping it gets me up to 15 cent this, just so I get a few plays. Mm, unfortunately not. Okay. Taken care of. Oh, this guy's gonna split. Wait, how's he gonna split? Okay, there you go. I was very confused at when he was, when and how he was gonna split there. But yeah, kind of back to what I was talking about before. It's just, it is, it is kind of weird how video gaming kind of got to the space that it is. And it's it's just kind of one thing that it makes me think is like, I know people kind of say this a lot. It's really stereotypical. It proper sounds like a sterner thought as well. But like, what if an alien civilization took a look at our culture and like our media and what we do? They'd be like, dude, these guys like spend all their time just pretending to kill each other <laughs> in really graphic detail all the time. <laughs> it's like such a such a bizarre hobby. And it's like in in some aspects it's turned into a sport. It literally eSport Call of Duty is a big thing. It's like that's kind of crazy really. Like <laughs> it's not for us. Like it obviously as as a 
a member of the human race. Um, it's really not. But, like, if you think about it from an outside perspective, it really kind of is very strange. Like... It's so strange that it became so normalized so, like, quickly. Also, just a side note, uh, do you know what? I will take Deep Pockets. Um, I just like it. 4.5 volts, not really my jam. Um, just a side note, anyone that says normalize this, just big ew. I don't know why I did that. Um, pe people that are like, mm, normalize this, normalize that, it's almost always... What did I take damage to then? What? Uh, it's almost always some creepy weirdo asking to normalize some fucking crazy ass shit that should be illegal, that is illegal and should be for a reason. It just, it, it always, every time I, I see something like that, it always makes me just, ugh, cringe. I know it's not always like that. I'm not saying that every single person that says normalize this is an absolute weirdo or creep, but a lot of them are. That wasn't the best bomb throw of my life, I'll admit. This is actually a really hard champion version of this boss. It's very hard for us to get to the the bombs. Okay, there you go. That was brilliant. I did not know you could smash the head off of this guy without... Like, you could kill it without killing it sort of thing. It's pretty... My god, I'm taking damage here. Himalakaru shot. Oh, oh. I see you there, Tinted Rock. Thank you. Okay. That was kind of a tough fight. I think we're going to carry on with Devil Deals here. By the way, that was um, a champion version of a boss from a mod, if you're wondering. Okay, cool. Sanguine Bond is pretty good. As long as I'm, like, somewhat confident in my HP still afterwards... And I'm okay. Oh, I've got myself some Lucasade, pink lemonade. Oh, it is perfection. Absolute perfection. Some extra money here. Oh, I didn't. I didn't go back and try and uh, play for my reflection. That's that's a me being stupid. Okay, this is a slightly treacherous room here. Yeah. These little throw-upper dudes are going to be kind of tricky. I feel like we haven't traded, a, traded HP away that much recently. Did we go to our item room on the last floor as well? I can't remember what we got from it. We definitely did, but I can't remember what we got from it. Did we? No, we did, did we? Maybe we didn't. Take a gamble. Burn Spurs. Burn Spurs isn't too bad. I think a lot of people underrate Burn Spurs. Burn Spurs can be like one of those items that, especially on the uh, the beast fight, can really do some good stuff. God damn, the nail is so good for us here. I know it got nerfed like with Repentance to only heal for half a heart. Still so good though. Still so good. Keep on going. Looking for more ways to spend my money now. And I know that's really ironic considering I literally threw away a, a great way to spend my money on the last floor because I simply forgotten. Also, these guys dropping burn spares is kind of funny. Basically, really, we're more so looking for, um, for luck upgrades out of luck pennies from Deep Pockets. And I think that's one of the greatest things about Deep Pockets. Deep Pockets, the, 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 the thing with the money, it's pretty good. I like that. But... The extra stuff that you can get from Deep Pockets, like the extra Lucky Penny drops, is crazy. It's so good. Hmm, I don't really think anything there's for us. Really should use Nail in a room with enemies just to maximise the amount of usage I get out of the damage it gives me, but... Oh, that's reflected. Uh, I think we can go straight for the boss here. We do have Black Clutch. Black Clutch is a little tricky. I mean, not super tricky, but I also don't know him very well. 
Um, for one, I don't know Clutch very well in general, but Black Clutch is a champion version from a mod, so even more difficult for me. Like, I don't know what he's about to do there. Thank God we got him, because he was about to stomp on me. And we got... I got hit again by something. What, what do I keep getting hit by? There's some something strange there. But yeah, he, here's a pretty good item, the White Rose. Maybe a little strong with the Wisps to be in the boss pool, but maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's keep on going. We're going down. We're not going Mausoleum. We don't quite have the health for it, in my opinion. I don't think we're going to make boss rush. Oh, no, no. Do you know? Do you know? We might. I thought we were a lot later than we actually were. I'm so used to in Repentance things taking so much longer that I automatically assume that I'm late for boss rush all the time. But I'm actually pretty on time. And obviously, considering we're kind of going for unlocks with this character... I think that, um, really nothing. I think that going for uh, boss rush, if we can, is good. Obviously, we would rather, um, we would rather not have to sacrifice our item room and so on for it, but I will if I have to. I'll see what time we're on by the time we get near. I think we're heading in the right direction already. I don't think we've gone the wrong way. Okay, we got our item room good. I love the fact that these guys have dank depth variants. Good. What you got for us here? Slipped rib, I don't really think is worth a heart, I'll be honest. Slipped rib's pretty good, but, like, I, I, I don't need to go for a completely burn-themed run. Just because I have burn spares doesn't mean I need slip rib. It's not that great of an item. It blocks some shots here and there, but just don't get hit forehead. I'd rather check out stuff from the shop. BFF is kind of good. Like, we don't have anything that works with it right now, but I, I really do like BFF on a lot of my runs, if I can get it. Yeah. Do you know what? We can get ourselves the full card, and this lets us make our way back if we want to. We could even go for the Beast. I don't think I'm going to go for the Beast, because I don't think we need to. Um, Let's prayer card here. How much time we got? We're on 17 minutes here. I'm 18 minutes. It does speed up the time of doing this, so you got to keep an eye on it. Okay, good. We'll pop in here. Get a bunch of damage for the fight. And we've got a minute and 30 seconds to kill the boss. It's Red Mum as well. Red Mum's nowhere near as difficult. She does, She is a little more time consuming just because she stomps a lot. But she's not that hard. Oh, went at me with a hand, did you? There you go. Uh, we shall take the Polaroid. I will check the Devil Deal again. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with both of these. And we'll go and try and boss rush. We've got Leviathan. Nice. Okay, what, we, what do we want here? Unfortunately, everything here is Big Fat Dookie. Um, I guess I'll take Crack to Orb. Honestly, all of those were pretty bad, though. But Leviathan... Is, is a decent transformation because now we've got flight. But the better thing here is what we just got, which we just got um, Star of the Endless Void, I believe it's called, something along those lines. And it basically means that on hit, we can generate locusts. It's very strong. <laughs> it's a very, very powerful item. It also converts any blue flies into locusts. So if you get, like, guppy, it's nuts. Like, absolutely. Like, even the mulligan. It's just crazy. Even Rotten Baby. They're all really nuts. But it's a really cool item because it's just got so much potential for, like, cool synergy. It's just... You've got to find a way to enable it is sort of the first thing. But we've now maximi maximized our ghost count, which is probably why I should have taken BFF thinking about it now. I mean, based on the amount of HP we ended up trading away in the Devil Deal, I'm kind of okay with the fact we didn't. And something I didn't really consider, actually, uh, we're going to be getting a lot of charges during boss rush here, which means lots more soul hearts from the nail uh, and increasing damage, of course. But also, we're going to be getting some good stuff going on from prayer card. One thing that I'm loving here is seeing all these champion versions of the sprites of the bosses, that I some, some of which I haven't seen before um, from one of the most recent updates to the game. It's really cool. Yeah, you can see how many locusts we've got hovering around us right now. Doing good work. And you got to remember as well, some of the locusts steal four times your tier damage. So as our tier damage scales, it's going to go well. But yeah, th these are some really cool looking champion sprites. 
I'm really glad that um, Kilburn and the team kind of took the time to go ahead and do this. I think it's really, really cool. And it just adds so much more flavor to the game. Like, the champions were fine before. Like, no one was really complaining. Everyone was completely fine with the fact they didn't have unique champion sprites and were just recolors. But giving them actual champion sprites just adds just so much to the game. It really does. It's one thing I've always said with mods as well. Like, it's so easy to make, like, a really good mod. But if you don't style it right, if you don't, like, put the, the sort of finishing touches on, it just doesn't feel right. And then the people that go the extra effort. It's like it's like the Delirium modded character I played recently. Honestly, the character itself, gameplay-wise, isn't super unique. I think it's a good idea. By, by no means is it bad. But, like, it's not something super out there like Andromeda. But the fact that it's got really solid sprite work and, like, the little details are all there just makes it feel so much more complete and so much more fitting and compelling to play for me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a big advocate of, like, vanilla feel. So I really appreciate it when um, when modders go the extra effort to to sort of enable that and um, and play into that. It's, 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 a, it's a lot of fun. Makes, makes playing modded way more enjoyable. And I mean, you guys know I absolutely love my games modded. Whenever a game has mods, I'll play it. I'm actually really looking forward to the years to come where Revita gets a modding scene. I'm really hoping it does. The developer, Ben Starr, who we interviewed on our podcast channel, did say that... Um, he does want to add a modding scene if the uh, if it's financially viable, if the game does well enough to enable him to do so. Which, by the looks of it so far, Revita's done really, really well uh, in sales. So it looks like that is going to be a possibility. So I'm really excited to see what's to come. But yeah, one thing I'll just kind of gloss over here, what I was speaking about earlier. That mod that adds, like, boss armor, it does it to, like, Terratoma. So, like, the way that we just, like, insta-killed Terratoma there... That, 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 like, it stops that from happening. That wouldn't happen anywhere near as much. Which is, like, sad, because <laughs> Wrecking Terratome is, like, a staple of Isaac. But also, really, there shouldn't be any bosses in the game that are only, like, 11 damage that you insta-kill, really. I mean, I know 11 damage is nothing to stuff your nerves about. I know that now we've, we've reached a lot higher levels than that, but... I still don't think it's something that should happen that often. So I'm kind of toying with the idea of adding those. It's not something I'm definite on yet. If you guys really do want to see those, do remember I have a backlog of videos, so I won't be able to reply to this immediately. But uh, if you guys do want to see those, then do let me know. It'd be nice to get some feedback on that um, and see if you guys would like to experience me having more struggles. Ooh, upgrade to the nail. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's power through. Now, I did notice we didn't get, like, an unlock notification there for my stemma. I don't know. What One thing I don't know for sure, by the way. I am doing the series as, like, a let's try and unlock all the modded stuff. I don't actually know if starting a new save file has relocked the modded stuff that I had. I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming. I think it's a pretty fair assumption, to be fair. But... If the, the, it might be the case that some Mastema stuff is already unlocked. We'll end up having to see, won't we? We'll, we'll, end up, we'll end up having to see. We shall see. Okay. And if, if it is an issue, if, if um, the developers notice that, let me know. And I can wipe the unlocks and we can go for them again for some of these modded characters. Because I would be very willing to do so. I mean, so far we only have Boss Rush as one modded character anyways. It's nothing crazy. I don't know why my Eternal Heart didn't didn't take there. That was weird. Hey, it's Blood Puppy. A free Blood Puppy is very nice. Hello, boils. I'll pick up keys all day long, especially if we're going to the Cathedral. Careful of these fellas. No thank you, no thank you. Oh, Giga Mines. Ah. Kill that guy while he's popped up. I think I got him. Yeah, I did. We are getting a lot of soul hearts and stuff here. But yeah, obviously boss rush ended up actually being super beneficial for us. We got a lot out of it. Wait, wait. wait. Did we not get an item from completing boss rush? Oh wait, no, we got we got the book, didn't we? I'm stupid. I was like, I just saw, I just looked at my item tracker and like, there's no item there. But then I realised it was an active. That's why. You fool. Get 
kit. I really love how we look right now as well. Our character is looking gnarly with all of our item transformation and everything. Also, we can pop that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with prayer. Prayer card isn't working now either. There's there's some strange stuff going on right now. Strange stuff. I'll take that. How how do we take two devil deals and end up on higher HP? Isaac is kind of wacky sometimes. Take two devil deals, end up on higher HP than when you started. That's the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Okay, invincibility there. Empty vessel is very nice. What do we spend all our money on as well? Where did all our money go? I do not remember. But we are, we are pretty much speeding through at this point. But yeah, the, the boss armor, obviously it wouldn't really change rooms and room clearing. Like, it wouldn't make this any harder. But it would make some of the story bosses just a little bit tougher and a little bit harder fights. They wouldn't be quite as steamrolly even on good runs. Which, I, I like, it's, it's kind of a difficult thing. Like, the reason I'm sort of torn between using it or not is I don't want to artificially increase the difficulty by just making boss fights take longer. I don't think that's really a great way of doing it. But the same way, without new boss patterns, there isn't really a good way to do that. And there is a, a, a harder boss patterns mod out there, but it's not currently updated for Repentance. So it's like, I don't really want to use it until it's fully updated and compatible with Repentance. Because it could cause unforeseen issues. But... That's a mod that I really do want to use when it gets updated because it does look really, really cool. It looks like a very high quality, high effort mod. Um, let's go do Hush. We can definitely do Hush while we're uh, this strong and that, that'll be another uh, tick. Another thing to cross off the list. Tell you what, I should have thought about that. I need keys. Luckily, I got two. This is yes. I hate it, but I can't not take it. Oh, baby. Oh, my lord. That's a laggy mess. God damn. Yeah, look, prayer card. It, it just gives me a half soul heart. <laughs> What happened? Did I break it? <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be hell on earth now. You realize that, right? Because I now have to circle this boy in order to hit him. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is going to be an absolute nightmare. I, if I take planet, if I see planetoid, I have to take it. That is the law. Especially when I get it with compound fracture. I don't know why Compound Fracture in modding is, like, so laggy. I I'm guessing it's just all of the burn bits are just, like, too much for it to handle. Like, to be fair, this is working quite well, because every time we make a pass, we do, like, a good chunk of damage. We just... The, the problem right now is we have to stand pretty fucking close to our boy Hush here. Luckily, we do have the ability to have invincibility from time to time which helps blood puppy if you could like go and eat some people and, and get real get real mad and ragey that would also help we're doing good damage to him i will say that we are doing very good damage to him he is also slowing i was just about to say i don't know what's slowing him but i've just realized it's all of the slowing locusts that are just absolutely wailing on him all of the time I didn't think about how effective they would be. I don't think the developer thought about how effective they would be either. It's like a constant stream of slow. I say that and then he doesn't get slowed for a while, God damn it. This proved my point, game. This has been very lucrative though. He is, he is also like perma poisoned too. He's been pretty good for us. I don't really know how I haven't been hit yet. I'm trying my hardest not to be, but at the same time, I can't really see. <laughs> this is this is a really fun synergy. I, I like Planet Planetoid. It's just such a stupid item. Like I said, it's derived or at least inspired by Tiny Moon from Ipecac. Whether intentionally or not, I don't know. But I still love the fact that Tiny Moon came back. I was so sad to see it removed from Ipecac. It was one of my favorite items. It's so so stupid. 
So I was so happy to see it return, even when it's from another mod. I did, I spoke, I spoke about this last time I got the item, but yeah, it's just, oh, there you go. We finally got hit. It's just an all round brilliant, brilliant item. It's so dumb. And people know how much I love things that are st stupidly dumb. Well, like we get a nice, nice suite of orbitals. If he could pop his head up literally anytime soon, that'd be a pleasure. And then we just do a massive chunky bit of damage to him, it's great. The lag starts pumping. Oh, I'll tell you what, tell, tell you something I'm experiencing right now. I went to the gym with my girlfriend the other day and she, she, she goes to the gym a reasonable amount. So I've been trying to go with her a little more, just to get in shape a little more. And I did some like hamstring exercises and holy hell, they, they hurt so much. I'm like sat here now and it was like two days ago. And I can just feel the pain. We could... So apparently... What? Um, apparently your first hush kill finishes it. We might die, but I guess we're going void. That was a tough room. I don't know if we're ready for Void, I'll be honest. I, I don't think we are. Hello, Pin. I say that and then absolutely stomp Pin. Oh, God. Yeah, it's going to be risky. I don't... Yeah. I, I, I Maybe Leviathan has changed and that's why I'm only... I, like, I, I, maybe I can't have Red Hearts anymore. I don't know. I don't know what's happened. Don't ask me. Oh my lord. Attack with bones. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though. What item we're gonna get? Battle Royale. If that worked on bosses, that would be a lot of fun. But I doubt it does. Ooh, this is like every single gaper in the entire game in one room. And a rock spider for some reason. Oh, and you as well. Okay, just keep powering through. The void is going reasonably well. There's gonna be some hard rooms in here. Uh, rooms galore adds a lot of very hard rooms to the void, like a lot harder than the vanilla void is. So we might have, we might definitely see some struggle with them rooms, but it's just what we got to deal with. I, I, I do actually like it. Like I said, I like things that make the game more difficult in meaningful ways. Careful. Oh, we got flight. I was, I was like actually dodging there and I was like, wait a minute. Excuse me, boss. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Meet my burn meaty mesh. HP up. So can we have red health? Yes, we can. Okay, that, the eternal heart thing completely perplexes me then. <laughs> I'm really unsure why it's not letting us use eternal hearts anymore. Mods be glitching. Charge by killing enemies. Grants um, the effects of a random pill and random card. Spawns a random pickup. Eh. It's okay, but I don't really think it's something we need. Let's we'll try and make our way towards the boss. I was like, why the hell is the room revealed there? But then I realized we've got um, the, the orb that marks rooms when you get hit. Literally what it does. Okay. Come on, you little brainlets. Let us defeat Delirium. See how it goes. I'm just... I'm so worried Delirium's just going to be, like, impossibly hard to hit. This probably will be Delirium. Actually, I don't know. There's a room over that way, so maybe not. Might be, though. Might be. It's not. It's Blastasis.
Okay. You have been bested, Blastasis. Oh, my boy is all grown up. Black powder. Come on, fella. You're so cute. Got that chunky booty. Bring it on this way. Bring it on downtown. Okay, we're, we're pretty good on health now. That's nice. For some reason, I thought we could bomb out of rooms here. Obviously not the case. Oh, I was like, what the hell's hitting me? There's just a tiny dude hiding in all my burn spurs. Tiny little fella. Just chilling down there. Thinking he's all that. Piss plum. Double piss plum. Okay. Probably want to be going over this way. We're having a rather long void, which I was kind of hoping not for, to be honest. I was hoping we'd have a, a relatively simple void experience here, but it is what it is. Skolex is going to be as annoying as always. I mean, luckily we did quite a lot of damage on him just jumping. Yeah, there you go, look. I was hoping that would happen. Just kill him straight through. Where are you, boss? Another thing you'll see, obviously, we've already seen a few of them already, but is a lot of tainted enemies. Tainted enemies really don't get featured that much in Repentance. They're only really in one area of the game, and that area is relatively short. So, the um, the room the room creator in Roomskull Law decided it'd be a good idea to use them as, like, an attribute to make the Void harder, which I think is a great idea, personally. I think it fits very, very well. Like, the Void is kind of meant to be like Isaac's mind becoming delirious, so kind of being tainted. Tainted by impure thoughts. Ooh, we got a soy, soy boy. I'm losing health a little more rapidly than I'd like in some rooms. Oh, come on now. You're just a nuisance when you do this. What card do we have? We have the Fool still. Okay, apparently we, we discovered our secret room. Nice. Damn it. I need invincibility a little more often to make that work. Come on, my charging fella. Okay, another item uh, boss room here, sorry. This will not be... Oh, wait, it is. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to get a few more rooms in before this. Yeah, I think we're going to have a real hard time here. I think there's a very strong possibility I die. I basically need my uh, invincibility from... Oh, wait. We've got one red heart. We don't get invincibility anymore. I'm stupid. We don't get permanent Polaroid invincibility. We don't even get thingy invincibility. This is going to be real tough. I was really banking on our invincibility to, to save us here. I think it's going to be really hard to kill this guy. <laughs> I think we're a really, really rough time. Because we need to get exceedingly close. And as you can tell, when you get exceedingly close to this guy, he spawns a bunch of tears on you. Like a lot. Like a lot and a lot of tears. It's kind of his whole shtick. Use the iframes we have, if I can. I mean, we're doing great damage. He's done a lot less to us than we have to him. I just don't know if that's going to be enough. That is the tiniest black powder ring I've ever seen. Okay, forms like this are pretty good. Let us get a nice amount of beating on him. I love that. Where we just absolutely push him about. It's great. The bone planet. We could Emperor out, but I think at this stage we're pretty committed. And I think we're actually in for a win. I'm not going to say it's guaranteed. I was just about to say, if, we, if he turns into its normal form, we get a lot of hits on him, though. We only got a few. I kind of gambled my HP, hoping to get more damage on him there, but it didn't really work out. Oh, my God. 
Mm, I don't know. It was going well. It was quite peaky. Peachy even, not peaky. Uh, but things have gone awry. Mate, stop. He did that attack where he just filled the entire screen with red shots. Didn't do us any favours. Dude, how did that hit me? Come on now, he's so close. What? He's so close. How is he not dead? I was just about to say, come on now. <laughs> there you go. That is a victory. And we have now got some completion marks for Mastema. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, I can't remember exactly which ones we'll have, but we have a few. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.